You guys always comment that my presentation tutorials give off Prezi vibes. So today I'm finally trying out Prezi.com to create a presentation. And not only that, together we'll be testing the new AI features they just added, which look incredibly promising if I do say so myself. Honestly, I feel like this might become the best AI presentation maker of 2025. Are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, so Prezi is a website that helps you create super engaging presentations with a dynamic canvas where you can pan, zoom, and move between ideas seamlessly. It's one of the best tools for storytelling and interactive presentations. And the coolest part is that you don't even need to download any apps. Just go to Prezi.com on your browser and sign up. If you want to try it out for free, I've got an exclusive link in the description box below and you can always upgrade to a paid plan if you find it useful. All right, so once you've signed in, on the homepage, there's this new field where they ask you to describe your presentation. Let's go ahead and test it out. For this example, I'll create a presentation about the Roman Empire, so let's click on Create with AI. In this field, you can add all your details. Be as descriptive as you want, or even copy and paste content from a PDF. Since my presentation is about the Roman Empire, I'll ask it to include its rise, key historical figures, major events, cultural impact, and eventual decline. You can also add any design preferences. So let's ask for a red theme with both fonts and nice pictures and then click on generate. Let's give it a few seconds and see what it comes up with. It only took a few seconds to generate this and honestly, I think it looks pretty solid. On the first frame, we've got an overview of the whole deck and these little thumbnails represent each frame. They're categorized into different sections and I've got three main clusters, just like I asked for in my outline. If you click present, you can zoom into each category for an overview. And if you click on a thumbnail, it takes you to that specific frame. You can also drag your mouse around to navigate or hit the home button on the right to go back to the main overview. Overall, it's looking really good, but I want to make some changes. I'm not sure about this color palette, so let's switch it up. If you go to style, you can change the background, colors and fonts. I'll go to colors and choose one of the default palettes. It will update the whole design and I think I want a darker palette, so I'll go ahead with this one. If you click the edit button, you can tweak individual colors. This bright one doesn't look great as a background on some frames, so I'll swap it for a darker tone. Yeah, this is much better. Changing the images or editing content is just as easy, so let's select one of the frames. I want to swap this image for something more engaging. So just click on it, then on this icon, and a panel will pop up on the right with copyright free images. I think this one will work better for this frame, so I'll go ahead and replace it. Now let's tweak the content. I like these bullet points, but I think they'd be better if I simplify them. Just highlight the text, go to Ask AI, and click Simplify. Amazing, and if you want to add some contrast for better readability, just click on Make Key Points Bold. Look at that, Prezi automatically identified the important words and bolded them, making them easier to remember while presenting. For this frame, I feel like what's missing is making it a little bit more visual. That's also pretty easy to do. Just select your paragraph, click on Ask AI, and you'll see a few different options to make it more engaging. You can click on Flow Chart to get this very cool layout, or maybe Zoom, for example, which makes it look like you're zooming in to uncover new content. If you need to add a new frame to include more content, that's super easy to do. Just click on Add Frame and select a new layout from the panel on the right. I'm going to add a quote, so I'll just select a layout from these options, replace the content, and that's it. Of course, you can also add new text boxes by clicking on Text, or if you go to Media, you can insert images, videos, GIFs, charts, and more. You can even embed PowerPoint or PDF files, which is super useful. For now, I'll just add an image. And the best part is that you can search for them right here without having to open a new tab on your browser. Finally, let's check the export and collaboration options. If you click share, you can generate a link so others can view or present it. You can also export it as a PDF, or if you want to work on it with others, click collaborate to invite people to edit in real time. Just keep in mind you will need an internet connection to present and edit. Otherwise, you can upgrade to a paid subscription for offline access to your presentation. Now for the million dollar question, can you download it to edit in other programs or use it offline? The answer is 
kind of. <gasps> At the moment, Prezi is incompatible with other presentation software for editing, but you can upgrade your subscription to get the desktop app and access additional features like offline mode. If you want to do this, just click on download and select either Windows or Mac. On Windows, it downloads as an .exe file and on Mac as a zip file. Once open, you'll have offline access to your presentations with all the effects, transitions and animations intact. So what are my final thoughts? My honest opinion is that Prezi is an incredibly useful program for creating presentations, and I really like how easy it is to use. It's crazy to think that presentations can now be done in a fraction of the time and still look this good, so I'm excited to see what other features they'll add in the future and can't wait to test those out as well. And that's it. Is this one of the best AI presentation makers of 2025? What do you guys think? If you want to try it out, I've got an exclusive link in the description box below for a free trial, so make sure to to check it out and I'll see you on my next video.